Is it going to look okay? Yes. 11 minutes past 11, Super Tramp and Breakfast in America on BBC Radio Leicester. I'm Naomi Kent, thanks for joining me. Now, mental health, big old talking point at the minute, and we all have different ways of managing our own mental health. But one Hinkley-based therapist is using art, creativity and self-expression as therapy. And has got a brilliant new project that you can be part of involving a very wonderful suitcase. I caught up with her yesterday at the Britannia Centre in Hinkley to find out more. My name's Linny Sargent. I go by the name of Creative Catharsis. And it's my ambition to get as many people as possible involved in creativity to promote mental well-being. So creative catharsis, what does that mean? Like translate it for us. Translated. So being creative is cathartic. It's therapeutic. It's a form of mindfulness. You can colour it in, just creates like a, the meditation state. So easy to do and anybody can do it. And it's so funny, isn't it? Because when we're kids, we do it all the time. And then as you get older, you don't tend to do it anymore. Yes, absolutely. And that's why I'm promoting the benefits of being creative because Absolutely anybody can be creative. You just need a bit of paper, any kind of medium, just, just do it. Agreed. Now, we have this suitcase here, which is a very pretty suitcase, um, called the Suitcase Library. So what is it and what are you trying to do with this? The Suitcase Library is an antique suitcase, actually, that my husband has kindly put these shelves in for me. And we're going to fill it with as many books as possible created by anybody and anybody who they can just make a book make a page they're all being collated while it's on tour and then it'll be on exhibition for two weeks in may and you say book which i feel like some people might be quite daunting to go oh my goodness i have to create a book but actually it's more like a little booklet isn't it yes so it's made up of four sheets of a5 paper folded in half with a front cover so eight pages in total plus the cover um, which is a more manageable scale than, oh my God, what a huge book I've got to create. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, I can maybe be creative on like one or two pages, but I'm like, oh, eight pages. Oh. So could someone come and maybe just do a page? Yes, quite a few people have, are just making the odd page for me, and but then they're being collated to make a book. So I visited um, um, the Alzheimer's Society. I went to one of their meetings and the whole office created enough pages for me to make a book wow so it's really lovely seeing people come together and be creative do you want to um grab a grab a book and talk me through one of them so we can get an idea of the kind of thing so for starters um like you say it's did you say it's a5 folded in half so it's almost like a greeting card size and then the front cover of this one is very snazzy it has um red gold white hearts stars and some little gems stuck on the front of it so nice pretty creative and this was actually created by a lady with dementia oh. i go to a dementia action alliance and that held um quarterly and it's about um making hinkley and bosworth a dementia friendly place community and while we were there she's created this book um, write me a postcard, send me some love, send me a letter. We all need love. Thank you for listening. When you look at me, please see me and not the dementia. Oh, God, I feel like I'm going to cry. When you talk to me, please make eye contact first and smile. Give me time to process what you say before you say your second sentence. And then she's done some stamps. And choose happy on the last page. Oh. bit of a word search going on there yeah and I feel like throughout there are just like you say little stamps and little smiley faces and hearts yeah. and kisses and yours truly and little ladybirds and it's all just very very happy and uh, pleasing to flick through and I wanted the suitcase library to be something that the community is creating but also for the community to look at as well some of them are full of like wonderful drawings and you can tell that some people have got a huge talent but then some people have like drawn a doodle and coloured it in and it's it's just so lovely to to you see a snippet of somebody's personality in in the pages 
It's yeah. Warming. And you know what's really nice about that as well is that then it doesn't feel daunting for someone like me who goes, well, I don't know, I'm a bit rubbish at uh, I'm a bit rubbish at drawing. What if I don't do it right? Because you come along and you see all different manner of uh, of types of drawings or poetry or or words, and you think, well, yeah, I could probably do that. So if someone would like to come and have a go at, at either creating a booklet or even just a page, how do they get involved? First of all, please do. <laughs> I'm on Facebook and Instagram as Creative Catharsis, or if anybody wants my email address, linny at creativecatharsis.co.uk. And at the minute, we're in the old Argos in the Britannia, Britannia Centre, Centre in Hinkley. Um, are you staying here? Is this like a little hub for you? Well, I found out today, I was invited today because it's LGBT event, um, who actually made me a lovely colourful book, thank you very much. And we've, I discovered that we're allowed this room as long as it's not being rented out by anybody else. So I'm like, I think this should be a regular hub for me to get more people creative. And although it is really cold in here. <laughs> Wear a warm coat if you're coming to get creative. Um, okay, so then after that, then what happens with the suitcase? During March and April, it's going on tour around all the libraries around Hinkley and Bosworth. It's on exhibition for two weeks from the 18th to the 24th of May. It'll be at the Atkins building where people can still get involved in creating pages or books while it's on exhibition, but it would be a lovely setup where people can view the finished, the finished project. And then, I don't know what after May, but I don't, I kind of don't want to put it aside. I think it's going to have to keep growing and... I feel like you might have to get another suitcase and end up with a stack. Yes, I could have a, a library of libraries. <laughs> Yeah, well, what a brilliant idea um, and what good work you are doing. So so thanks for doing that and thanks for